In this video, I will show you how to write your first System C program. Hello world. Since System C is just a C++ library, it has full access to all the C++ functionalities. As a consequence, there are two different approaches to print a hello world string. One is using the regular C++ style to print from a normal function. A second method is to use a system C style, which will print from a system C process invoked by system C simulation kernel. In this example, I will show you both. Before we start, there are some basics you need to know. First, how to include system C header file. There are again two different approaches. One is include system C dot H which not only includes system C libraries, but also add some namespaces, for example, SC core, SC DT, as well as selected names from the standard C or C++ libraries, for example, C in, C out, IO stream. A second approach is include only system C without .h. This is basically systemc.h without using any of the namespaces. A common approach is to include systemc without .h, followed by using namespace sc core. Then you can choose to include other namespaces that are needed. The next then is the entry point for systemc. While a normal C++ program's entry point is the main function, for system C, you have to use sc underscore main as the entry point. This is because system C library has the main function already defined. In the main function, it will call sc underscore main and pass all the command line parameters to it. The last thing you need to know is a system C module. We will be discussing system C module in details later. For now, all you need to know is a system C module is just a C++ class or struct that inherits the SC module base class. Now let's jump to the code. This is the system C source code for hello world. There are different ways you can get the source code. You can copy it to your clipboard. You can download the file. You can clone from Git repository. Or you can directly run the code from EDA Playground. I already have the system C development environment ready. So let's copy the code. Go to VS Code, create a file. Paste the code I just copied. And let me walk you through the code line by line. First, we include the system C header followed by using the basic SC core namespace. This is the regular C++ style. Next, let's see what can we do with system C. First, we define a class or a struct. The name of the class is hello world. It inherits from the SC module base class. Then we define a constructor. Within the constructor, we register a function hello world into the system C simulation kernel. This is very important because this function hello2 will not be called manually. It will be invoked automatically by the system C simulation kernel. The hello2 function is defined here. It is a member function of the hello world class. In order for it to be invoked by the system C simulation kernel, it must have no input and returns no output. Within this function, it also calls cout method of C++. Now let's go to the entry point of a system C program, sc underscore main. This is where your system C program starts. 
first, we call the hello one function manually by entering it here. This is the first approach to manually invoke a normal function. Next approach is to use the systemc module. So we create an object of the systemc module and we give it a name. You can name the object to whatever you want, but it is common practice to name it the same as the object variable. In this case, I use hello world here. Next line is at C underscore start. When the program sees this, it passes the control to system C simulation kernel. System C simulation kernel will then check which functions are registered to it. In this case, it knows hello2 function is registered. It will invoke hello2. And since this is the only function registered, after execution of this function, it will exit and our program stops. Having explained the code, let's execute it. We first compile the code by using make. Now you see the outcome using both approaches. Okay, this is the end. Hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching.